Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of helping calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels, I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter compound interest of class 8, exercise 10.3. So if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 8 maths book, you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. The chapter's name which I have solved so far are Rational numbers, exponents, square and square roots, cube and cube, cube roots, playing with numbers, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, linear equations in one variable, percentage and its applications, compound interest, direct and inverse variation, surface area and volume, probability, quadrilateral. And I have solved many chapters of class 7 maths book of same publication house. The chapters name are integers, fractions, decimals, rational numbers, linear equations, lines and angles, triangles and its properties. You can go by the playlist for these chapters to, uh, to check out the solution videos. Let's not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number 7 of exercise 10.3. So question number 7 says the difference between simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum of money for 2 years at 10% per annum is 75. Find the sum. So how do we start? First of all, we will assume let the sum equal to P. We know simple interest equal to P into R into T by 100. Put the values. Principal, we will assume. Rate of interest, we have been given. What? 10% per annum. Rate 10% per annum is given to us. Per annum is given and time 2 years given to us. So we will put these values here into 2 by 100. Cancel it. So we will be left with 2p by 10. So simple interest will be equal to 2p by 10. For finding compound interest, we will put the formula amount is equal to P1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N equal to put the values 1 plus 10 by 100 raised to the power 2, 1 plus, cancel it, 1 by 10 raised to the power 2. We will take the LCM, 10 plus 1 raised to the power 2, principal, 11 by 10 raised to the power 2. So we will write in next step, principal 11 by 10 into 11 by 10. So it would, will, it would, it would be equal to 121 by 100. So we know that compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So compound, compound interest would be 121 by 100 P minus principal we have solved as P. So compound interest would be equal to LCM 121 P minus 100 P. So compound interest would be equal to 21 by P by 100. So but compound interest minus simple interest is equal to, which is equal to 75. It has been given to us 21p by 100 minus simple interest is 2p by 100. So take the LCM again. So 21p.
टू पी बाय नॉट हंड्रेड हियर टू पी बाय टेन सो सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज गिवन वी हैव फाइंड आउट टू पी बाय टेन हियर यू कैन सी इट इन फर्स्ट हेफ वी हैव फाइंड आउट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एज टू पी बाय टेन हियर This is our simple interest. So these value of simple interest we will put. We have put here. Here simple interest we have put instead of simple interest of these value of this value equal to seventy five. Let's move further. So we will take the LCM now. Twenty one p minus twenty p equal to seventy five, so it would be equal to one p by hundred equal to seventy five. So principal would be equal to seventy five into hundred, that is rupees seven thousand five hundred. So therefore we would write what we would write therefore principal. Is equal to rupees seventy five. This is our answer. Let's move further. So, question number eight says a sum of money amounts to rupees two five two zero in two years when lent out on compound interest annually. The same sum of money amount to rupees two six four six who lent out for three years on simple interest. Find the rate of interest. How do we solve it? Let's start. First of all, we would write interest earned. In one year, on sum of rupees two five two zero, कितना हो जाएगा rupees two six four six minus two five two zero, so it would be equal to rupees one twenty six. Now simple interest. T into R into T by hundred. So simple interest we have been given one twenty six. We have just calculated two five two zero into one into R by hundred. Cancel it. Two five is a ten. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two six are twelve. So it would be like one twenty six. One twenty six into R into one by five. So we will put one twenty six into one twenty six. Into one into five, so rate हो जाएगा five percent. So we would write. Therefore, rate equal to five percent per annum. So it was all about question number seven. Question number eight of exercise ten point three, chapter name compound interest. So in my upcoming videos, I'll be solving more of the question of compound interest. So if you guys like my videos, if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share the videos as much as possible. Please do subscribe the channel. It hardly takes a second to subscribe, like, and share the video. So please do it posit positively.
थैंक यू सो मच